guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video it's gonna be a day in the life working in IT and it's been a while since I've done this kind of video so I am gonna make another one because I know that you like watching this okay so before I get to work and while waiting for my bus I just check my work phone if there's any critical tickets because all of that is in our work phone anyway so our work phone is an iPhone and our ticketing service our ticketing system is fresh service so just checking if there is any critical tickets that came in this morning or over the weekend that needs to be taken care of so so far I don't see anything so that's a good sign it's, it's gonna be a good uh, Monday <laughs> Hello there again. So one of my tasks today is to set up a training room with 10 laptops and 10 monitors and of course the peripherals, keyboard and mouse and they have to be connected to the ethernet. So I can show you the setup so far. So this is just all of a sudden we don't have an official training room so we just need to provide machines so that we can train people for classes in here so a very simple but a very dirty <laughs> messy cable work in here so they just needed 10 laptops 10 monitors plus plus one laptop for the presenter or the trainer and ethernet connection is really important for the classes so i've set up a switch so the switch is just a basic Netgear with 24 ports that are just connected to all of the laptops and that switch is connected to one ethernet port here so this is the ethernet port where that 24 port switch is connected to so setting up this training room is not that hard because we just need like laptops in and monitors but setting up the switch is a little more complicated because we are using spanning tree protocol in all of our uh, switch ports and for me to be able to plug in a switch to one of our switch port requires a little configuration on the switch and it requires to disable the port fast configuration on the switch so before I show you the commands that I use to configure the switch port so I can plug in a 24 port switch in here so it will work I am gonna give you a little overview or a brief background on what spanning tree protocol is and port fast and how we use it in the word place and all the best practice and tips on how to use it in real world practice so the spanning tree protocol is a layer 2 protocol so it means that it's used on layer 2 network devices like switches and bridges spanning tree protocol is used to prevent layer 2 loops and broadcast storms as we all know loops and broadcast storms are bad and it will cause network outage in our company it means that there are no frames that will be forwarded by the switches because it will just keep looping and looping and we are not going to get any network connection in our devices or machines. So spanning tree protects the network just in case two switch ports are connected together. So in the workplace best practice, we enable spanning tree to all of our switch ports just in case someone brings a rogue switch in our company or in our building decides to plug it in to one of our switch ports and of course sometimes they don't know what they're doing and make a mistake to connect the switch to itself that scenario would cause a network loop or broadcast storm so for us IT and admins to prevent loops from happening to prevent network outages we have to protect our network too and spanning tree protocol is one of the ways to protect our network especially if there are unknown devices or unmanaged switch that is brought to our network or our company at least even if they plug it in nothing bad will happen there it will not cause network loops because you are preventing it by using spanning tree okay so really quick overview with stp it has five different states 
disabled, blocking, listening, learning, and forwarding. So we are just going to focus on the three states, the listening, learning, and forwarding in this video. But I'm not going to go over all the details with listening, learning, and forwarding. I will just talk about when STP is enabled. So when STP is enabled, it will go through the listening and learning states first before it will forward a network traffic or it will get internet connection or network connection. So if you want STP enabled in your network to secure it, of course, from all the rogue network devices out there, all of your ports would go through the listening and learning states before it can forward frames. And that usually takes up to 30 seconds. And that is not actually a good thing when you're connecting your machines, your PC for your users and especially your servers. If your computers boot up, and it will try to load the DOS and it could not get a DHCP, it will fail to boot. So, so that's an issue if you have STP enabled and you are connected, your ports are connected to like end machines, end user machines. But there is a solution for that. Even if you want to secure your network with spanning tree protocol, you can bypass this learning and listening state and just immediately go to forwarding state. And that is the port fast feature. So here comes port fast. So if you enable port fast, it will immediately go to forwarding state. It will not go through listening and learning state. And it will not take like 30 seconds to get network connectivity. It will immediately connect to the network and it's very good for end holes like the machine servers printers access points if you have port fast enabled it doesn't disable your STP which still protects your network so what's good about port fast is that it is good for your machines it will connect to the network immediately there is a downside when you enable port fast on a switch port though so it is good for end holes but not for another switch so if you have a switch port and it's enabled with port fast if you connect another switch to it it will bypass the listening and learning state and it will just flood all of the frames right away to all of the ports so that is all of the background and overview on why i have to configure the switch port to this feature or this configuration and setting is because I am plugging in a switch, another switch to a switch port with switch, with port fast enabled. So in our workplace, we enable spanning tree port fast in all of our switch ports so it won't have issues with user devices. But then what if I'm trying to plug in a switch to that port that has enabled port fast, just like what I'm just like what I did for the training room. It will have issues and the switch will not work properly. So what I have to do is to disable port fast because I am connecting another switch. So the command for that is very easy. So I'm going to show you the configuration of the switch port before I change it. So it has spanning tree port fast enabled. So this is the configuration of the switch port. And as you can see at the very bottom, it says spanning tree port fast. That means that port fast is enabled in this interface. And now I'm going to show you how to disable the spanning tree port fast. So you type in configure terminal to get into the interface that you need to configure and then just type in no spanning tree port fast to disable spanning tree port fast and then of course you need to save the configuration. Okay, so now our switch is online and working because we have disabled port fast to it which means that we can use another switch for that port. It still has spanning tree enabled but not the port fast okay so i'm working on another network issue right now and they reported that in this room there's no internet connection okay so as you can see it's not showing any network connection here even if it's plugged into the ethernet plugged into a port in here so first thing that I'm going to check is if the cable is working. So I have another cable here where I tested that it's working with an Ethernet port and a computer. So same situation, still not connecting to the network. So now I'm going to try to see if this other port works. Because I'm not sure if which one's in here, but 
we are always using the green pork but let's just make sure that this is not the other pork okay so in this case it might be a wrong configuration on the switch port so we might have to check what configuration the switch port has usually it's the wrong vlan that's why we're not getting network connections so i'm going to check the configuration now of the port and to do that we need the ip address of the switch and we need port number of the switch port that this jack is connected to so at work we do have a tool called link sprinter in here which tells us the information that we need from the switch port like the ip address the vlan and the port number of this port in here and if it's not showing any red lights in here it means that there's no errors and we should be getting our information through our email okay so the command to switch to vlan is to type in configure terminal to get into the interface that you need and then type the interface number and then type switch port access vlan and the vlan number that you want to switch it to and of course type in the save command to save your changes and make sure that whenever you are changing a configuration you always have to save it okay so i have changed the port to the correct VLAN and now we are getting network connection here so that's usually the case if issues like this happens just check the con port configuration if they're configured correctly and since there's no new ticket that came in today I just tried to close as many tickets that I can and that's it for me for today just a couple of networking issues and some of the projects that i was supposed to do so thank you so much for watching today's video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below and i hope to see you guys in my next videos